Seafood pie has got to be one of the ultimate comfort foods and the key to it is of course the really good quality Irish or fresh Irish seafood. So I'm going to talk to you what we have done here. Um, go to your fishmonger and you'll get some lovely uh, salmon. This is Irish organic salmon, some whiting, some Dublin Bay prawns and some natural smoked haddock. And these are the Dublin Bay prawns which is just defrosted and peeled. So these are from Castletown Bear, the whole way down in Castletown Bear. So um, they're all, uh, peels that they are. I've taken them out of the actual shell and then with the shell you can make a nice bisque if you want to. We're going to lightly poach our uh, fish. So uh, some full fat milk just in the pot. We're going to put a little bit of bay leaf which is beautiful. We're going to put some celery, one stick of celery and a little bit of shallot and some black peppercorns if you can see that in there. This is what a banana shot look banana shallot looks like. So it's just like a, a variety of shallot. Shallot is a variety of onions and they're they're gorgeous. They're sweet. So just sprinkle this in here. Okay, so you're kind of infusing the actual milk. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our lovely um seafood so we'll put in our salmon i'm not going to put in the prawns okay so keep them aside and you don't have to put prawns in but they make it extra special so they do so just literally just get your seafood and just kind of pop that in and we're just going to lightly poach this and then you have your whitey okay and then your smoked fish so the smoked fish i'm just going to literally kind of spread this out now no salt nothing like that in it yet we're going to bring it to the boil and then we're just going to let that just poach away gently. I'll just put the prawns over there. So that's just milk, bay leaf, black peppercorns, a little bit of celery and some shallot. And that's going to kind of infuse that. So I'm going to switch on my skillet pan, put the lid on this. So this is the smaller skillet. This is obviously the larger skillet. And I'm going to show you how to wilt some spinach. So we're using some nice rapeseed oil. So that's what we're using there in this. So a good drizzle of the rapeseed oil. And then we're going to put in some butter. And the butter will give lovely flavor so it will just a knob of butter so baby spinach uh, this is it here you don't need to um you don't need to um to take off these kind of little stalks they're, they're perfect to give a nice bit of texture just keep an eye on your fish you know just move the kind of pot just give it a little movement like that and if you need to kind of just push it away we'll just have a little look at that while we're doing that so that's just simmering coming to the boil there. That's that's lovely whiting. You can use haik, you can use haddock. Try to get as much kind of variety of fish. And like you'll get this in your supermarket. So you will, you know, in the Duns County or whatever like that, to your fishmonger, and they'll have it already prepared. So in goes our lovely spinach. So we're going to wilt that. And when you wilt it, so it means just to very quickly cook it, you're gonna put it on kitchen paper. And that's really important. So I'm just gonna use the same spoon here. Just keep moving it around. A little touch of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and I just keep looking at the fish every so often. Just give it a little movement like that. It doesn't take long to cook it, so it doesn't. And then we're going to show you to make a really nice sauce with some leeks and some celery and some shallot, and uh, yeah, and a cheesy mash. It's really, really simple, but it's a really, really good recipe, a real family favorite. So that's it done guys that's our spinach look at how much we thought we had and then you just literally put it onto kitchen paper so that removes any extra moisture i'm going to turn this right down and we're going to start the process for our sauce so that's our spinach let's have a look at the fish i'm going to switch that off now okay so that's it perfectly cooked it's going to finish off just leave the lid on there now we're going to start off by making our sauce so we're going to get some butter Nice big piece of butter in there and then we're going to add in our shallot so while the shallot is cooking off we'll pop that in so kind of dice it or you can slice it we'll just let that melt there we're going to prepare our celery so we're going to cut this and cut it lengthways and same for this and then just bring it all together so it's the knife never leaves the board so chop 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 watch those fingers and then this is going to go in on top of the shallot. Uh, onions are fine. You don't have to go out and buy a shallot, but they're they're a little bit kind of like sweeter, nicer flavor. If I'm being honest with you, the shallot, and they're definitely worth uh, getting. So this is leeks. Leeks for me is a very humble uh, vegetable, full of flavor, and I just think 
they add so much um, kind of flavor to you know to any kind of sauce anything like that they're lovely in a soup with a little bit of smoked bacon some chicken stock some potatoes and a touch of cream and milk just gorgeous now that's going to go in so i'm just going to soften that there and then what we're going to do just while that's cooking off we can just get our tray there just let that just kind of soften away there take a little bit of oil just a drizzle the rapeseed oil will stop the butter from burning so that's really really important <coughs> give that a nice little stir there and leeks are gorgeous see what i'm doing here but if you cook them out for a few minutes and just serve them with a grilled piece of fish it's so delicious so it is okay I'm going to bring that over and I'm just going to use my skillet, remove the lid and then we are going to literally just move this here. Gorgeous. Okay. So let that simmer and that is off there. I'm kind of playing musical chairs here. So with the spinach that we've already cooked, if you just get the spinach and then if you just literally put this in here into the pan or into the dish should I say and this is an oven proof dish this is part of my cookware collection so a little bit of spinach just at the bottom there that's perfect give that another little stir gorgeous and then I'm gonna let that just we're going to get our milk, a little bit of the milk there. And then we're going to use some cream, so we are. The cream that I'm using is some double cream. So give this a little shake. So double cream is a richer cream, everyone. It's heavier than whipping cream, and it's a really good uh, cream to cook with. So I'm just going to stir this here. And I'm just going to lift out the wee peppercorn. There we go. And just give that a little stir. I really like using the double cream because it uh, gives so much flavour, so it does, but richness to the actual um, dish. So let's just get our fish in here. So this is our nice chunks of salmon. See that? So it's still warm. Don't worry about that. You can let it go cold completely if you want to. So just arrange this. So this is the Irish organic salmon from Clare Island. So lift that off. I forgot to say that there's no skin, so there's no bone. I, I meant to say that. So that's really important. Your fishmonger will do that, no problem at all. So then we have our whiting. So kind of nestle that just in between, if you can see this here. Right, gorgeous. You know, we're an island that we should be eating a lot more fish because you know for me when I go out and meet the fishermen go on the boats and you see how hard they work they really are just such unsung heroes they really are fabulous people a little bit of smoked fish I really like it in this and it gives lovely flavor so it does now okay so that's the white in there you can use hake as I said to you uh, a little bit more salmon and like if you get into nice big cubes just literally kind of and that's the smoked fish that's the natural smoked haddock so it is okay lovely just a little peppercorn yeah there we go so that's all our lovely fish so we've a little look at that so Mel if you just zoom in there for a moment and I'm just going to literally get more of that milk in there perfect now so I move that out of the way I just want to have a little look here that looks really good I'm going to switch that off because I have one already done so let's stir this, let's concentrate now on our nice sauce. So we poached the fish. We're gonna put in some salt. We're gonna thicken this with some corn flour or you can use flour, but this is perfect because if you're a celiac. So a couple of spoonfuls of corn flour in with some water, that's all I've in there. And then just literally thicken this. Now you don't want to clooky, that's one thing you definitely don't want. So we're just gonna let that just Stir that there. Just loosen it up, a little bit too much corn flour, just with some cream, or you can use a little bit of milk if you want to. 
and then we just literally turn that off. So I want to show you the consistency, guys, just what we have here. So that's the leaks there. That lovely kind of loose, soft consistency. Spotted little peppercorn. They're everywhere. I bet you you thought I forgot the prawns. So the prawns now are next. So they're gonna go in. So we didn't poach them, there's no need to poach them. And then just arrange them just over the top. Just put them into the dish. Now to give lovely flavor into your sauce, I like to put a little bit of lemon, just a little bit, some zest and some juice. So a little bit of lemon and then a little bit of juice. Roughly about a quarter of the lemon should be fine. Just remove any of the seeds that are there. And then with the little juicer, then this goes in here. So this is gonna kind of loosen it up too, a little bit. Now, so give this a stir. See a little seed that got away me? It's either peppercorns or it's uh, some lemon pips. So give that a stir there. And then literally bring this just, and then just arrange this. So if you see the way it's fallen down, everyone. So just arrange that. So that's our lovely, delicious leeks, celery. So it's not a really kind of a wet pie. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like full of flavor. And of course you have that lovely, lovely selection of Irish seafood, but it's not too uh, gloopy, not too heavy. So that's what I want from the pie. Okay. Yeah, so just kind of nestle that in, just kind of just with the spoon, kind of push that right down. Okay, so that's that done. Cheesy mash on top. So we have some mash already heated. So how do we make mashed potato? You uh, peel your rooster potatoes, you cut them, you steam them, and then you literally put them through a potato ricer, which is definitely really, really important. And what I've done is I've just literally put in some milk and a little bit of butter, and then we're gonna put in this beautiful grated Drina cheddar cheese. That's it there, it's a really lovely cheddar. So just grate it into the mash, gives such great flavor. And then this is gonna go on top of the fish, and then into the oven, and that's your pie done. And this pie can be made ahead. So don't forget those lovely, beautiful Dublin Bay prawns. I just peel them, so that's them there. I just took them out of the freezer to show you and just literally remove the shell from them. So mix this all together. And then this goes on top of the actual fish. So kind of just arrange that and then just kind of spread that over there. So that cheesy mash is lovely even with sausage sodas. Now, and then what I like to do is to serve this, I'm gonna put this into the oven because I have one done and I'm dying to show you this. Just literally, yeah, go right to the edge. Now, so if you didn't want to use mash, you could use some of the Simply Better Gia Batter crumbs, and you could put, mix them with a little bit of um, sesame seeds, some herbs, a little bit of lemon zest. But I think the mash, people might say, oh, it's a little bit old fashioned, but a cheesy mash with that really nice cheese, it's delicious. So we have already one done. That goes into the oven. Okay, it's a very rustic, delicious, dish into the oven at 180. So I'm gonna take the one out. So be careful of that. This goes in. And then magic. <laughs> oh yeah. You're probably wondering why I use the tray. Well, this is why I use the tray, everyone. Look at the way it drips over, which will happen. And then it just catches, just uh, the tray will catch any of the drips. So that's really, really important. And then literally just serve that to the table let everyone help themselves some buttered peas with that and that's it i love that lovely golden color look at the way it kind of dribbles over and that's gorgeous that for me is the ultimate comfort food let it sit for about maybe five minutes and then serve it up and enjoy this you can put in extra frozen peas some uh, sweet corn if you want some carrots you can mix it up what you want to but the key is that really really lovely selection of irish uh, seafood and that lovely cheesy mash. So, so enjoy this very, very simple seafood pie.